Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto San Andreas out in the country edition because we're just doing things that are not exactly regular, just like that. <laughs> Carl would have had a nice concussion if things would have been more realistic in this world as he slapped his head on the back of that thing. So, what we did in the last episode is we got our... Oh! <laughs> And now this guy's like so like befuddled, like, oh, why'd that guy run into me? I gotta get out of here! I gotta get out of here! The Nazis are back! They're slamming into everyone's ass, and it's all bad from here! I go, oh! <laughs> oh boy, this is this is getting away from me real quick. We just need to get. Why are there so many white Broncos out here? Is this where like O.J. Simpson's getaway driver was hanging out, just waiting for that right moment? Okay, yeah, this whole weed smoking thing again. So we gotta get all the way out of here. We gotta. Oh my God, yes, trip skip. Thank God for the inclusion of trip skip. That is the greatest thing that has ever been brought up in the world. Yeah, so last time we got lost driving around. We did find out some interesting things with UFOs and the rock star constellation in the air. So that was pretty. That was pretty nifty. And then we got to this crazy farm where there's, like, survivalists working, and they're all carrying guns. There's like, hey, we're working out on the farm today. Make sure you're packed, just in case random black guys with green bandanas come onto our farm. You never know what you're going to run into, because Pepper's Farm remembers. Pepper's Farm remembers a time of slavery. Back in a time when you had to have a submachine gun. Really? There we go. One down. I'm gonna go pick that up while I'm at it. Yeah, we need to be a lot more careful about how we go about it doing this, because we really took the wrong approach last time. I mean, there was a point where everybody wanted a piece of the Karlmeister, and it was... Oh, yep, here we go. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Everybody wants a piece of the Karl. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can assure you. How is this not a sport, by the way? Tractor Wars? Are you nuts? This would be, like, the coolest thing to watch on, like, Spike TV. Provided they're still even around at that point. Oh my god, we're almost out of bullets for that. That was a bad choice. Milk was a bad choice, and so was tractor racing! I don't know, but it looks kind of shifty. Roll them in some pig shit! I would rather you not roll me in some pig feces. Speaking of feces, by the way, this is a really weird thing that I that I uh, heard about the other day. Apparently, if you are living in the Massachusetts area and you're wanting to make some quick cash, something that you can do that is, uh, I don't really know why it is that they're in such a dire need of this. Oh, yeah, that guy just got a shovel. That guy wasn't even going to be a big problem anyways. Now, how do we do this? A combine rustler. Didn't realize that those were actually things. All right, we need to go. We need to get this. We need to go. Up we go. All right. Take the harvester back to the truth, you know. The truth will be revealed. Oh, my God. That guy got it so bad just now. How do we get out of here? Oh, my God. Who wants some harvested human? I do. Oh, it's spitting it out the back, too. How gross. <laughs> Stop that dang varmint, they say. <laughs> this is the most appropriate music to play during the situation. Oh! Oh, yeah! Nothing says ruining farms like driving over it with a combine as we've already harvested like ten humans. Yeah, you guys cower in fear. Oh, Bill cower in fear all day long. Yeah, baby! Yeah, you don't stand a chance with the blades of revealing. Okay, so we need to get out of here. Where are we going to go, though? Um, oh, I really don't want to have to go all the way up either of these directions. But we don't really have a choice. So we're going to go all the way up this way. Yeah, dude, get out of my face, man. You got, you've got nothing to offer me right now besides the fact that I'm just going to murder your face. With this. Actually, I really need to get him off of me. 
come on, come on, we need, no, get out of my face, you stupid piece of crap. Get out of my face. Dude, how is this guy just like all up in my grill? Just get the hell away from me. All I want to do is I just want to go on my way, get back to the farm so everything can be fine in the world. And this guy has got to sit here and get his stupid freaking truck all up in my life. Come on, go! Get out of my of my world here. Thank you. Now we're good. This thing is so hard to drive. So, uh, back to the story. So, apparently, if you're living in the Massachusetts area and you're, like, hard-pressed for money, what you can do to improve your financial situation is you can uh, you can sell your poop. I'm not even kidding. You can sell your poop for 1300 bucks a month to help, you know... Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no! No! Flip back over! No! Oh, <laughs> Oh, this is the worst! Yet we're moving extremely fast in this thing! Oh, this is just not tight right now. And there's no way we're going to be able to flip this thing back over. It's not going to happen. <laughs> How are we doing this right now? Like, if by some random course of amazing, you know, physics and luck and shifting the tides of the world in our... Oh, no! Oh no. Oh god. Oh god, we gotta get out of the way. Gotta get out of the way as the thing blows up. Okay, this thing's this thing's still going. Unfortunately, we cannot get back in it now because it's doing whatever it's gonna do. Man, oh no! Oh damn it. Alright, hold on. We'll just just because for the sake of not having to put you guys through all that waiting again, we're just gonna go right on back here and we're gonna do it again. We are gonna do the damn thing again. So yeah, you can you can sell your poop for thirteen hundred dollars a month to help you know with with uh, for the sake of science essentially. But I've got to imagine like if you're gonna be selling your poop, like are they gonna take any kind of poop? Like are they just like is it just logs only? Like are they going to? Because like imagine working for this foundation. Like are they just gonna sit here and like take jars full of diarrhea? Like. Do you mail that to them? Like, do you go to a, you go to a particular building and like deal with it that way? Or, like, what exactly? Like, what are the what are the stipulations for this? Like, I can't, in all likelihood, imagine that they're just going to, you know, take, you know, take it from just about anybody in like a jar in the mail. Hey, this is uh, this is Stephen from Western Pennsylvania. I just wanted to let you know, even though this is already in Massachusetts, so this wouldn't even be happening. But I'm just saying, anyways. I just want to let you know I got a jar full of my finest diarrhea after eating Indian food today. And I wanted you all to have it. Oh my god. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna do this. We are so gonna do this. Man, that guy is bailing hay like crazy right now. Get out of there. You get out of that combine. Come on. Come on, Carl! Let's do this, son. Let's 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 do the damn thing. And we're not gonna flip over this time. Now, what is there? There's gotta be a faster way out of here. There's has to be, but I'm not seeing it. So my call is we gotta do it the hard way. Um, oh, it's all the way out this way though. All the way out the other backside. As I run over another shovel tote asshole here. So yeah, dude. Like, what a sweet gig, by the way. Like, if you're and it's only in Massachusetts. Like, how unfair is that? Like, I want to move to Massachusetts for a while. Like, work for a few months of just, like, selling my poop. And then I'd be good. I mean, that's that's a that's an awesome gig right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I've got to imagine, like, there's they've got to have, like, a crazy high amount of people that are applying for this sort of thing. Like, I'd be doing it. I mean, you're just, you're taking a dump and that's it. Like, you can do anything anymore. Like, it's almost like people, like, doing... I, I read about a guy that he did a Kickstarter for uh, potato salad. He'd never, he had never eaten or made potato salad ever in his life. And uh, so he started up a Kickstarter for it just to get, like, the ingredients. And, like, the goal, I think, was only, like, 30 bucks, which, that's some expensive-ass potato salad. And uh, this guy, apparently, 
he ended up raising like I don't know, it was like like 6500 or something crazy like that. Just just for potato salad. Oh no! Oh no! We did it again. No, flip over. Oh! Oh! Oh, come on, please run into me. Please run into me. Flip me back over. No! Oh, this sucks. This sucks the ultimate butthole. Oh! Third time, fourth time's the charm, I guess. God, man, this is killing me right now. But yeah, dude, he raised it like an obscene amount of money for just potato salad. Like, I don't understand how people are making this much money off of such random things like that. Like, I understand the poop thing, because, you know, you're trying to to forward your knowledge of, of you know, of anal excretions for the, for the sake of science, but really, you're going to give this guy an exorbitant amount of money just because he's never had potato salad before and he wants to make it? Like, that was, that was the whole reasoning there? Like, that's ridiculous. Like... I'm sure there are, like, people that were raising money. Like, even people wouldn't even want to give that money for, for cancer sometimes. Like, they get so fed up with the idea, oh, it's another cancer foundation. Oh, my God. But then you get a guy, oh, well, you know, this guy's even never had potato salad before. I could really I could really see myself getting behind something like that. I mean, everybody's got to be able to experience the wonderful orgasm-laden goodness of, of a potato salad. I mean, you've not lived unless you've had good old-fashioned potato salad. And I don't know. I, I just I think it's particularly crazy. Like people will people will fund almost anything. Like some people they're starting up Kickstarters like just because they want more money. Like I saw a couple of those. It's like oh, I just want to start a Kickstarter just so I could have more money. And some people even funded that. <laughs> uh, what a weird world we live in. Yeah. I mean, if there's anything that, at least any sort of satisfaction that we're getting out of this mission so far, even though we've had to do it three times, is the fact that we have made absolute mincemeat out of so many of these gun-toting survivalist morons. It's great. I mean, no matter how much diving out of the way they decide to do, they're not gonna, they're not gonna win, you know? I mean, the only thing, the only... The only sort of consolation they're getting is the fact that I have not completed this mission yet because I can't drive this damn thing. I mean, that's the only thing that's that's really coming out of it anymore. Is that I'm just I'm struggling to drive this vehicle the way that God intended. <laughs> you are the thorn and the flower. Oh, biker! Yes. <clears throat> Somebody totally made mention earlier today that that uh, running over running over uh, bikers is like totally my trademark thing and it totally is like that's that's definitely been like that's always like my favorite thing to do when I'm driving cars oh come on really you're gonna get all you're gonna get all a little, have a little hissy fit here I mean I guess I would too if a guy just like hogging up the entire road in this thing you know driving a combine another I hate when I get stuck behind combines in the road when I'm driving come on come on baby come on don't flip her over yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh, that was awesome. That guy got it totally bad. Alright, we gotta go back down where this guy is anyways, though. Please don't put it in the water. Please don't put it in the water. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, of course that guy landed his truck the right way. Why wouldn't he? This guy's gonna end up blowing me up. This guy's gonna have shot me enough times by the, by the end of this whole thing that he's gonna blow me up. I'm, I'm coming to that conclusion right now. There's no way we're gonna make it there in time. And then I realized we could have taken this dirt road all the way to where we were supposed to go and I totally blew it, but we'll get down there too. I'm just taking the scenic route of getting myself probably blown up in the process. Why not at this point? Damn, this song is the jam though. Oh, wait a minute, is it right here? Is it right here? It is not right there, okay. I'm getting, I'm getting paranoid right now. Come on, no! No, I don't need you! No! God, I hate this guy. He's just like a, he's a little, he's just a little, like a little fire ant, you know? Much more dangerous than the average one. God, get away from me. Yep, this is gonna be bad news, man. He's gonna blow my car up. 
Ugh, I can't. My car can't handle it. Come on. Come on, combo. Oh, no. No. No, this is not the way that it was intended to be done, and I'm making it so much harder on myself. God, all these, all these people. Just get out of here. Yeah, I will take you out. I'll run your dumb asses over. Just because I don't give a damn. I'm driving a combine. My name is Carl Johnson. Oh, God, here we go. Here we go. We're going to make it. I don't care if I have to commit, ex like, at least triple or quadruple digit moving violations in the process. As long as I get from point A to point B without this damn combine exploding. Come on, what are you doing? I'm trying to hit, I'm trying to hit pause so I can figure out where I'm going. Oh, it's right down the road. It's right down the road. And he's still behind me with that stupid shotgun. I mean, how many rounds does he have in that thing? You just wait. I'm gonna get right to that dirt road where I'm supposed to be, and he's gonna end up blowing this stupid thing up, and I'm gonna have to do it for a fourth time. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Okay, here we go. We got. We gotta go down here. Gotta go down here. Take the dirt road, baby. Take it. Take it down to the down to the, down to the promised land. Ah! Oh, you better. This better be the truth. For if this if this ends up being another lie, I am gonna be so mad. We have already been parts of, of many lies over the course of these games. Yeah! We did it! It only took three times today, but we did it. Peace back to my valley. Thank you, friend. I'll call you when the hoop to do is ready. Just make <laughs> the sure hoop to do It's great. I hope you realize what you put me through, the truth. Hey, Carl and Caesar. What's up? Bad thing is shit, that's what's up, Holmes. Uh -oh. What's wrong? Where's Kendall? Is she okay? She's with me. She's okay for now. The Varios Los Aztecas, it's all over. There's a price on my head. Maybe Kendall's too. What happened? Trust, respect, honor, they don't mean Jack and Los Santos now. My OGs, my S's, all dead are in hiding, eh? Get out of town. Head over to Angel Pine, rent you and Kendall a trailer, and I'll meet you there. Okay. Well, I just got some shit to take care of, and uh... No, just get my sister out of town someplace safe. Don't shit with me on this one. I can't lose her, man. Sure thing, Holmes. We'll see you in Angel Pine. It's nice that this guy, that this that this Caesar guy, like, he actually listens, you know? Oh, yeah, nothing like the good old-fashioned boyfriend injection, you know? I mean, I've always wanted a, a buggy that, that goes by the name BF Injection. <laughs> but it's got the jam on the radio tight. All right, it's it's totally awesome. I will I will drive the boyfriend injection if, if, I, if I get to listen to... You know, some some hot, sick beats like this. And then I get to roll this thing over and keep going. <laughs> that was great. Okay, so let's let's get all the way back to where we're supposed to be here. Yeah, let's go all the way down here and then we'll go save. Oh, so another thing I was going to tell you guys about. I guess we can do this on the way back here. So, uh, I know how I told you guys I'm going to be moving again here soon. Well, I just started, uh, Matt and I started looking at some, uh, some houses. And uh, we're at you know, possibly trying to recruit Lige for this whole thing, and, uh, oh, I thought it was going to be the song. Y'all ready for this? Oh, no. Oh, boy. Okay, are we going the right way? We are going the right way. Yeah, we're almost there. So, we're, we're starting to look around at new places, and, uh, we found this awesome, uh, little one-story, three-bedroom, two-bathroom house, and it's, uh, it's only, like, 1200 a month. And it's actually really sick. Like it's got all brand new uh, wood flooring, uh, new brand new carpet, new paint job, the whole the whole works. And so uh, Matt and I decided to go take a look at it today during our lunch breaks at work. And so we go we go down there and we we pull up in the driveway, and uh, it doesn't look like there's anybody home. So we thought maybe we just got there too early. And uh, yikes! Ah! Ah! Okay, this guy needs to stop, you know, trying to inject my my BF injector with his freaking stupid tailpipe right now, all right? Okay, where's where's the little trailer park at? I mean, this is such a small town and I can't find it. Oh, here we go, it's over here. So, we uh, we pull up at this place and it doesn't look like there's anybody home. There's no car out there and we told the guy we'd meet him there. And so, we get we we're kind of standing there and then all of a sudden this guy 
this guy comes walking out of uh, he comes walking out of of the place, and he's got like pajama pants on and like just a white t-shirt and some and like some uh, like some slip-ons or whatever. And he's like, "Who are you guys?" <laughs> and we're like, uh, "We had an appointment at five to take a look at the house." He's like, "No, no, no, you didn't." <laughs> and we're like. Well, yeah, we just talked to the guy. We we just talked to somebody, and we just, they said meet us here at five. He's like, no, I I definitely live here. Like this is my house, and uh, I'm definitely not. I don't have it out for rent. And he's like, well, wait. It, they said it. They gave us this address. He's and then we, and we're like, yeah, seven fifty seven uh, horseback lane. And he's like, well. I'm pretty sure it's not here. And so we go back and look at the at the thing, and it was totally a different address. <laughs> and so we're like, oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry. It's totally the wrong address. And he's like, yeah, because, uh, you know, that would have been pretty weird. I, last thing I knew, I wasn't selling the place, but, you know, my wife will do weird things. <laughs> so we're like, we're like, well, uh, yeah, so I guess it's a good thing we didn't go up to your door or anything, because that would have been pretty awkward. He's like, yeah, well, what do you do? And so it was actually like right around the corner is where we were supposed to go see it. And then we went and looked at it. And dude, the place is so tight. So if everything goes, you know, according to plan, I might have a new place to be calling home here in the near future. So just thought I'd uh, kind of update you guys on that. But we have run out of time for this episode. When we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, I guess uh, there's some stuff going down with uh, Caesar and Kendall and some people putting price tags on their heads. I mean, as long as it's not like bargain barrel dollar store price, it can't be that bad. So, you guys take it easy. This is AMF saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. And if you're in Massachusetts, sell your dung. Just freaking do it, because I said so.